Hi everyone, and welcome to the first day of Vedsba. If you're new to my channel, I'm filming a new video every day for spring break, and we're gonna have lots of fun. So yeah, on that note, hello everybody. As you can see from the title of this video, it's gonna be more instructional, so we're gonna learn something today. It's gonna be more fashion-oriented today. I've never taught someone how to actually tie a bow tie before. And hopefully from this video you can actually learn because I don't know how good my teaching skills are going to be. So let's look forward to that. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie a bow tie. Yes. Yes. It looks like this kind of shape in general. And you wear it on your neck with a dress shirt or something that you button up. Um, to formal events, but I kind of just wear them whenever the heck I want to because because I like to think that I'm cool. Anyways, let's get started. First thing you'll need is a bow tie, and you can probably find these at your local department stores, JCPenney's, at Macy's, or at Walmart, any place that has like a dressing clothes section. I got this from Jack Threads, and it's an online kind of warehouse store. And they sell only clothes for guys, but they have really cool sales. Like most of the, all the things that they get are usually like more than 50% off, which you would usually get them at the designer price. And all that you need to pay is like shipping. And they have like tons of sales all like every week, but they only last like a couple of days or even a couple of hours. So it's a really cool place to like snag a sale if you have the money at the moment, so. I'll leave a link in the description below, and you guys can comment about it and tweet me some of your pictures looking fly as hell. I'm gonna use this bow tie, and it's double-sided, so you guys can see it easier when I'm tying it. The second thing you're gonna need is a dress shirt. Anything with a button and a collar will do. Usually I just wear these kind of shirts because I don't get actual bow tie shirts, but there's some shirts that only have like a collar notch just like here and here, and they're specially made for bow ties, but those are like for more classy people. Mm. I'm poor. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. I'm gonna lose this bandana because it's too many accessories on me at one time, so... There we go, that's better. So, you're going to need to button this shirt up. Alright, and you're gonna want to lift this collar up, obviously, so you can see what you're tying. Tying a bow tie is actually very near to tying in real time. It's just in a really small space, so you just like need to like get better at like digging into the nooks and crannies of your tie, so yeah. I'm gonna show you guys how to tie this in three angles, I guess. So you can you guys can like kind of see yourselves and see what you're doing better. So here we go. Okay, so since this is double-sided, you're gonna want to just drape this over your neck and you're gonna want to leave one side um, this much longer than the other. Um, because one side is gonna be like the actual kind of tie. You'll see why this is, you'll, you'll see. You just need to do this, okay? You just need to do this. If you're using a double-sided bow tie, you have to lay this bow tie on the side that opposite to the one that you want to show up when it's actually tied. So since I want to show this part off, I'm gonna lay it down on this plaid side, and then the checkered part will show up on, at the end. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is Take the longer side and place it over the shorter side. Nothing complicated yet. It's still kind of pretty simple tie signs. Continuing with the simplicity, you're just going to want to bring this back and over the shorter side. So then you have kind of like the first step of tying an actual tie. Here's the angle from here, and here's this angle. Simple, right? Next step. You're going to want to leave the longer side that you just pulled through alone and you're going to work on this shorter side that's behind it now. See how these kind of like resemble the bow, like half of this part? So you're going to want to make that bow with this back part and just kind of like fold it over itself a little bit and just form that kind of like tie little shape back there. So you fold it over and this is what you have. Just fold it over a little bit. And here it looks like from this side. Sorry, you can't really see it maybe because my hands are in the way, but I have to hold it up, so. Deal with it. All right, now here's where it kind of gets complicated. You're gonna want to bring this front side back. 
And see right here, it also resembles the bow part. You're gonna want to fold this fatter side on itself, like towards the front. Then you bring it back. And here's a very tricky part. There's like a little tiny like nook in here where it's like where you folded the tie over and you can just like pull it out and you can stuff the bow tie inside there. That might have been a little fast. Here's it from the side. See this where my finger is right here? So here and then you have to like pull this through and that. And then you fold this side and then you have to stuff that whole thing through there. So here it is from this angle. You folded this side already and here's a little nook. And so you're going to fold this over itself and want to stuff it through here. Now I'm stuffing it through. See, I brought it over right here. See, I'm putting it through. kind of hard. This part is the hardest. This is like the, the apex of tying a bow tie, which is why no one does it anymore. Once you brought that through, you're going to want to pull, and this is just kind of like the dressing the knot part, and basically that just means like making the knot look good. Making the bow look good, actually. I think that feels kind of good. I'm not looking at any mirror right now, so I can't tell, but I've done this quite a few times before, so I'm pretty sure. And you just put your collar down and you are done. Of course, you probably want to practice this doing it in the mirror. And then you're gonna want to just practice doing it like um, on yourself because if you're wearing bow ties, you probably have no time on your hands in the mornings when you're putting it on. So you're gonna want to learn to do this by yourself. And with that, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And join me tomorrow for another episode of Vezb. I'm doing a video every day for my spring break because I have really not that many, like, I don't really have events planned because I'm not, like, rich or anything. So, video every day, spring break. This guy kind of just, like, went dark for some reason. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So, um, bye! Welcome to the first I have to undo this. It hurt. Get your shit together. Um, there, with, uh, uh, hashtag I'm filming this right after the video because I forgot to introduce it in the beginning, so yay. Video every day in spring break, or... Uh, hello everyone! Wow, I just said Tyler Oakley. If you're new to my channel, I'm filming a... a mm, I'll leave a link in the description below. And you guys just, you know, just go crazy with it. I don't, they don't care, Alan. Stop making this video longer than it needs to be, okay? Okay. You're gonna have, you're gonna want to use... Once you brought that through... That's the... That's... The, what is it?